Your mother was the first African-American woman to attend Vassar. And then also she went on to get a medical degree at Yale. Mm -hmm. What was that experience like for you growing up with a woman who was such a trailblazer? Did it shape you in unexpected ways? She is a remarkable woman and um, actually lives with me and my family now. Um, and it was inspiring. Um, and most importantly, she showed me that women can achieve great things and you shouldn't ever expect that because of race or sex or other characteristics that if you are committed and you have a goal, you can't achieve it. But she also talked about how it was hard. She didn't like being labeled. She really was just as happy if people didn't know that about her um, so that she could just be a person in her own right. How did you think about that in the context of navigating your own career? Uh, since a woman had worked so hard and a first, but also a relationship with that where you may not necessarily want to be spotlighted for something that people see as bigger than some, who you are. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I had both the, the privilege and the challenge of having two very accomplished parents, and it set a very high bar. It certainly gave me a lot of opportunities and exposures. Both my parents and my mother, you know, perhaps in particular, really instilled in me not just a sense of what was possible, but also a sense of purpose, a sense of living a life of service and giving back. And I have to say, it's been very gratifying because over the years, my professional and personal lives, you know, with with both my parents have you know, been somewhat intertwined and you know, it's a very special thing.